Hey, all. So let's look at this whole thing. Hey, all. So let's talk about urban plot irrigation. Now, you will see that a lot of the designs that are being applied in this urban plot are also applicable in other scenarios, other scales, other context. This is irrigation 101. It's irrigation as relates to a small spot, but it's also fundamentally irrigation as relates to all spots because irrigation is modular. As soon as you understand the types of irrigation you might be using, sprinklers or drip or you know pot culture style, you are gonna ultimately then be able to add more units, more pots, more beds, longer beds. So this is a really great way to understand irrigation is to look at how it's being applied on a small scale, but on a scale that is looking at beds because beds are the most efficient, the most effective way of growing annuals and perennials because it allows good drainage, allows good warmth, allows good organization, et cetera, et cetera. So let's, uh, let's get into looking at this and getting a sense of why this is so important. So first of all, here you can see this is a series of pots in line, and this irrigation is dripping through the pots all spaghetti tubes with emitters. You could also use little shrubber styles. There's many ways to slice this pie, but that's pot culture. Here we have a header hose with drip attached. Those were shutoffs, three rows per bed, meaning you're gonna have three rows of carrots here, or three rows of spinach here, et cetera. And at the end, there's end caps. Many different versions of this, some cost more, some less. But you can see that these three beds are all lined up and they all connect to a header at the front. And all of that drip then is allowing that even moisture distribution to all of these crops here, tomatoes and basil planted in a polyculture. So you can see here the shutoff valves. I choose shutoff valves as opposed to just ones that are always open. It gives a little more flexibility in your water management. And if you spring a leak, you can shut off a single line and create a repair by cutting it and splicing it with a coupler. So that goes the full length of this bed. But again, these could go as long as you need. It's all going to be about understanding your source of water and how much pressure is being provided by your pump or by gravity or by even uh, a PTO pump or a gas pump or a submersible pump. So, and then once you understand your, your pressure and your amount of lines, you will have a pressure regulator that is suitable and you will have that based on the quantity of beds, the number of rows per bed, the number of drip lines per bed, and the overall length of those beds themselves. So there you go. But in this case, this is a, a three beds at 15 feet and then also a, a bed of pot culture. 